Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get the updates. Ready to start for today's video? The beer's courtesy of Bill. Thanks so much, Bill, or Billy. Uh, depending on how you know him, William. Uh, thank you so much. I'm really excited. That's so stupid. I'm really excited for today's beer. I mean, this just sounds awesome. Um, so it's their 25th anniversary. It's called Unkindness, and it's Raven's Eye Stout aged in Caribbean rum barrels, 11.5% ABV. Um, it's been a while since I've had a beer, any beer, let alone uh, a stout uh, aged in rum barrels. So again, this is their 25th anniversary, so congrats to them. Uh, looks like this must have some age on it because it says they had the 25th anniversary in 2020. Um, so it doesn't have a, at least that I can see on like a canon date. So I'm going to assume this has a little bit of age on it, which as you know, I'm a big fan of. Uh, 25 years ago, as the first shovel struck ground, Ravens graced the property where our brewery stands today. Even now in the misty Fortuna mornings, solitary Ravens can still be seen. On very rare occasions, ravens flock together, and that is called an unkindness. Uh, about to After this review, I'm about to watch Jeopardy, so hopefully that's a Jeopardy thing tonight, because I'll have learned something. Uh, for our 25th anniversary, we have aged our classic Raven's Eye Stout in Caribbean rum barrels, with decadent notes of, well, I'm already in it. I try not to read notes before I do a review, but... I already saw what it says. With decadent notes of rum, shocker, oak, shocker, chocolate, shocker, molasses, actually that isn't a given, uh, and espresso, a true celebration as rare as an unkindness, as rich as the raven's forgotten lore. Eel River Brewing, serve at 55 degrees, and it is 52 degrees down here, and I just had it on the shelf, so it's a little colder. I hope you won't hold that against me. Let's get into it. <clears throat> it's pouring out a dark cola color. Great can art to me, especially with the whole raven, raven thing. Yeah, I love that. This is, yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped. Um, yeah, so definitely black, but there's some brown in there, so it's not the darkest looking stout I've ever seen, but certainly not the lightest. Um, so almost like need like its own like stout category. It's like medium stout darkness. Um, let's see, about a finger and a half of a... Deep mocha head, compact bubbles except on top. Definitely looks like a double digit stout. Let's get into the aroma. Man, now I don't know much about rum. <clears throat> Is it like a spiced rum? They're just saying Caribbean rum. Because I almost get like a little spicy thing to it. There's this awesome sweet vanilla caramel mix. I wonder how wet these barrels are because you do get some oak, but I, yeah, like it, to me, it does seem like rum, like, like kind of obviously rum. <sighs> yeah, that spicy thing, the more I'm smelling it, the more I'm like, it's like this caramel. Mm, there's some roast finally. Cause like, I tell you what, it was kind of weird. It's like, it, it's definitely a stout, but I wasn't getting that roastiness. Man, yeah, this just caramel, it's not quite coffee yet, for at least in the aroma for me, but like it does kind of, I know this is going to sound contradictory, but it does kind of smell like um, a very like milky, sweet, you know, Starbucks kind of a coffee drink. Like it kind of has that, you know, caramel swirl. And I think that rum is adding that sweetness that or that perception of sweetness. And yeah, this vanilla caramel thing, it's it just, it's very desserty and like in a very, uh, um, like adult kind of fancy way. It smells fantastic. Let's get into the aroma. <laughs> into the aroma. Oh my goodness gracious. I haven't had a beer today. Let's get into the glass. Cheers. Thanks again, Bill. That's nice. You know what? This is, <clears throat> not that it's an overly dry beer, but because of that sweet thing I was getting in the aroma, I thought this was going to be a hair sweeter than it is really like the level this is at yeah there wow this is really nice there's a lot going on <clears throat> and it's all working wonderfully unlike the aroma it, it follows the aroma quite a bit for me unlike the aroma 
that roastiness, I can see why they're like, what did they say, espresso specifically? Um, yeah. I can see a coffee vibe. And again, like in the aroma, it wasn't that strong to me. And that's why I, I really wanted to hit like one of those Starbucks drinks where like it basically seems like the last ingredient is a coffee. It's everything else, you know, all that sweetness, all the caramel, the you know whipped cream, like everything else. Oh yeah, and there's coffee in this, you know. Whereas the taste, <clears throat> that roast is is definitely up more. I'm wondering if the barrel is drying it out because you do get a little bit of the oak tannins, um, or if this beer is relatively dry without the barrel aging. But anyway, you do get a little bit of that caramel, you get a little bit of that vanilla. I got more in the aroma than I'm getting the taste. So again, it's it's got everything I said in the aroma, but then that roast is higher excuse me you know more intense and then keeping that stuff at bay somewhat so definitely um that yeah definitely man i just I know, it's just definitely drinking good i keep saying it's definitely and it's definitely drinking like really good yeah okay <clears throat> the intensity man that oak is so nice when it kicks in it does it helps dry out the finish and then it leaves like a nice it's like mm, i don't know two-thirds dark chocolate one-third oak popsicle stick kind of a aftertaste so it's pleasant it's a little dry so you kind of just want to keep sipping on it but anyway what i was gonna say is it's kind of like the aroma and the taste are kind of flipped. So I know I kind of spoke to this already, but the intensity of everything else I got in the aroma, except the roast, now I'm getting more of that roasty, coffee, dark chocolate thing about the same intensity as I was getting the other stuff in the aroma in the taste. So that's kind of a cool, interesting swap. So it's all there, but like, so it, sometimes it's interesting like how much does the, <clears throat> excuse me, the taste follow the nose, right? And this one, it does, but the intensities are completely different than how I, I was thinking it was going to drink based on the aroma. Um, for me, and maybe it's my own ignorance on rum, I got more rum in the aroma that I'm getting in the taste. The barrel, like the fact that this is barrel aged for sure, but the rum, I don't know. Some dark fruits now that it's kind of maybe like opened up a little bit and I've had some sips. And it's, I don't know if it's just because I associate rum with like a spiced rum thing, but I do kind of get what I think that the spicy part, the spice part of spiced rum is more than the rum itself. Um, a little bit there, man, this chocolate, oh my goodness. <clears throat> and you get just enough, actually, you know what? It very much, that finish I was talking about with the woodiness, but mostly the chocolate, the spirit, that's where I'm getting it the most. It is very, I can't believe I didn't, I'm so glad I didn't stop recording. It's very much like those chocolates that have liquor inside. It's, I don't, I can't tell you the ratio and percentage, but it's like a, a dark chocolate with that rum. So you get like the, the whispers of alcohol, the whispers of rum specifically enveloped in that dark chocolate note. Um, now it's not like a hundred percent like, well, oh my God, did I just eat one or did I drink a beer? But like in terms of descriptors, that is really for me spot on then with that oakiness, that last third. Um, so into the finish and then the finish. So that's interesting. It's more for me anyway, the, the rum is more expressive at the end. Yeah, anyway, I don't, I'm kind of just thinking out loud at this point, which I guess is kind of what this is, right? But yeah. Bill, man, seriously, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is delicious. And, and again, to the brewery, congratulations on, at this time, uh, going on 27 years. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a, that's an achievement in any business. Uh, so I really appreciate, uh, not appreciate, I really respect that about you. Uh, have you had this beer before? Have you had anything from these uh, guys before? Anything, everything, 
comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.